I'm so hungry. There's no food in the fridge. I have an idea. Let's just eat outside. My name is Catherine Arosina, visual creator of Roaming Tourist Productions, where I create videos about food, travel, and photography. In today's episode, I will take you to a Japanese restaurant here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, where they serve authentic ramen noodles and poke bowl. So let's check out the place. Hello everyone! Hello. Okay, I am so privileged to film inside the kitchen of the Japanese place here in Fayetteville. I will introduce you to Steve. He's the owner of the restaurant. Hello Steve. Hi. How are you? Good. You see you're very busy. Not really. Yes, you are. <laughs> chashu behind me. I'm making the chashu poke bowl. Chashu is in a braised pork belly with green gochujang sauce. This is our poke bowl. Going classic. Poke bowl. Comes with uh, spicy tuna, fresh salmon, and uh, wasabi aioli, and yuzu sauce. It looks so good. Yeah, it's really fresh. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Leanne. Hi, Leanne. I love working here. The food's so good. I spend all my tips on food. It's really bad. <laughs> See, we don't have to go to Japan to yeah. taste authentic Japanese food. Mm -mm. No, I've had ramen everywhere in a bunch of states and this one's my favorite even though I'm a little biased because I work here. Uh -huh. But we have very authentic ramen um, and um, it's very similar to umami if you've been there before. Yeah, the other place is also really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But here we have different types of soup bases. So at umami you can try um, you can try a certain type of ramen and here it's similar but it's different flavors as well. So if you've already been to umami, you should come try us too so you can try something different. Yeah. Mm. They, they should definitely try umami. Yes, yes, That's it's really so good. good. It's been my favorite restaurant even before I started working here. Yeah, mm. awesome. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to Omami. This is 
cooking as a little cook in the Japanese kitchen and then uh, I became a head chef at a small Japanese uh, restaurant and then I hit my wall so I went back to uh, Cordon Bleu mm -hmm. and then studied uh, French cuisine and then uh, I started working at a French uh, diner at a five-star hotel in Beverly Hills Hotel Peninsula uh, the restaurant Belvedere for about two three years yeah have a good day a, thank you guys day. thank you thank you and then uh i came back to uh, japanese cuisine it was a uh, french cuisine i mean i liked it and all but i wasn't born as a uh, you know western you know i was born in asia and grew up in asia so that was my food so i came back to japanese cuisine and i managed uh i became a head chef in this uh Pretty big uh, Japanese restaurant in San Luis Obispo mm -hmm. for about three years, and then one day I just decided to join the army, and then I did uh, three years in uh, Fayetteville, Fort Bragg as a cavalry scout. Uh, after that, I really didn't want to go back to uh, LA because uh, you know there's a lot of traffic and just everything's too expensive, overpriced. Mm -hmm. So I decided to stay in. Uh, found a spot next to a monarch, which is a mommy. Mm -hmm. And then I started there. Uh, and it's been a little over two years for a mommy. Yeah. It's time to expand, uh, give it a little twist. So we have a little cafe version of a uh, mommy right here. So Steve, you build that? I didn't build it. I don't want to say I, I built it, you know. But it's, this is my concept. It just interior is really expensive when you go million dollars. Mm -hmm. So this is all your design and idea. Pretty much. Yeah. I just wanted to make it into a cafe, like a really light yeah. lunch style cafe. You know? Yeah. I actually like that the space is better. You can see ramen shop slash. Pokey Cafe right here, mm -hmm. and I have uh, lots of cooks that are already uh, trained in umami for years. She's my uh, sushi cook. Sushi cook. What's your name? Lucy. Nice to meet you. And you're a chef too? I'm Victor. Yes. Yes, Thank you for your service, Steve. I didn't know you were in the military. Your story is very inspiring. Very awesome. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah, I've been a, a big fan of Umami. I've been coming to your restaurant I've all seen the time. You many times, yeah. <laughs> so Steve's gonna tell us more about the menu. All right, Steve, tell me about Poki. So Poki is traditionally Hawaiian dish. They started uh, putting soy sauce and sesame oil on ahi tuna, which is yellowfin tuna in Hawaii. Okay. And uh, they 
put it on top of white rice, steamed rice. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like green onion, just a really hearty, fresh, refreshing meal. It's like, I don't know, like Spanish ceviche, kind of. Oh, because um, the fish that you serve on the poke right. is uh, not cooked. Not cooked, cooked, but we put a little bit of acid, mm -hmm. like lemon juice and uh, ponzu. Uh -huh. Ponzu has a... Uh, Rice vinegar and a distilled vinegar in it, so it cooks a little hey, bit. Hey, what's going on? But it's it's raw dish, so it's raw fish, fresh tuna on top of rice. But at Umami, we have uh, cooked dishes that are called poki. That's our version of poki. But usually, traditionally, poki is rice bowl with raw fish with a little bit of soy sauce, mm -hmm. sesame oil, and your own version of twist. Like mango salsa or lemon juice or yuzu juice. That's pretty cool. Okay. What about your yes. other special um, menu? So we have ramen, uh, Japanese traditional ramen broth with a little bit of fusion toppings. So I don't have to go to Japan to eat authentic ramen. I can just go to Japan. <laughs> I guess you can. I have a lot of Japanese customers and uh, customers that have been to Japan and saying that we have the pretty silly ramen. Yeah. But um, our broth, we have two different broth. Mm -hmm. One is miso. Spicy miso is Japanese fermented bean paste broth. But it's still got a pork broth, so we don't have any vegetarian dish as far as vegetarian goes. But our spicy miso is still hearty because we put uh, pork broth in it. Mm -hmm. And also, Python ramen is also really creamy, really thick, hearty pork broth. So we have two different broth mm -hmm. and uh, five different toppings. First one is uh, pork belly ramen. It's mm -hmm. got garlic and spicy miso on top of the spicy miso. So it's a little, it's it, it's got a little kick to it, but. It's one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. And Tucker's Wild Sriracha Ramen. This is the chicken option for the ramen. And the Mushroom Lovers has Japanese shiitake mushroom and enoki mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, that comes with bok choy and a little bit of vegetables. And we have Veggie Lovers that comes with soft tofu and bok choy, sprouts, and cilantro. Mm -hmm. And Gohan Special Combination is it's pretty much the works. It's got yeah. everything in it. Mushrooms, chashu, all the vegetables, all the good stuff. I think I'm gonna try the Gohan special ramen later. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can return it. Oh, really? I can? <laughs> Send it back. As far as like regular... Regular... I'll introduce you. Okay. Yeah. So, I bought the high chair for the mommy for this young lady right here. But now, look at her. She and doesn't need a high she chair. She don't need a high chair. She doesn't need a high chair anymore. <laughs> no. It's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. She ordered the baby chashu dog. See? It's her favorite. She gets it every time. You like that? Yeah, and then I ordered the spicy pork belly ramen with python. It's super good. Oh yeah, it looks yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I wanna try that one. Yeah, and I got the other chorito. It's the uh, poke bowl with pea on it. Yeah. It's great. It's great? Yeah. Maybe we can get it. I'm gonna order it. Thank you. Oh, the pork we just uh, we're searing it, pretty much just cooking it. This is a faster way to cook. Hey. Uh, I'm not about to drop the ramen just yet. I do uh -huh. one side. Uh -huh. I do the other side after I drop the ramen. So this is grilling. Pretty much grilling, yes. Yeah. Grilling the uh, the chop. That looks good. They like the ends to be crispy and get the fat on it. The sides can have crispy, not chew. Mmm, that looks delicious. 
What is it, Steve? Tuna handle. Spicy tuna handle. Looks like a burrito. That's uh, brown rice. Healthier choice. Yes. Like you guys are in sync. Like a dance. So I hear you guys are doing timer. Yeah, we don't want the ramen to sit in a broth and ramen soaks up the broth and it gets thicker and thicker. Uh, very uh, sick. Uh, 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 so when my food comes out cold, uh -huh. the hot food comes out at the same time. So the cold food doesn't get warm and the hot food doesn't cool down. So we time it for two to seconds. Same that is as cool. umami. Same as umami? 15 seconds not wrong, man. 15 seconds. So this is where they cook the ramen noodles. Okay, behind you. Three seconds. And it has seaweed. Got seaweed. Order up. Order up. What is this, Steve? 38. It's a go on special. It's got spicy tuna, fresh salmon. Wakame seaweed salad, edamame, green onion, masago, and avocado. It's gonna have a fresh uh, fried wonton skin. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. You need a regular white rice? Her. Please, let's go to table 4C2. Okay. Okay, this time you are making. Energy Rito. Energy Rito. It's not supposed to give you lots of stamina, so we call it Energy Rito. Okay. The customer wanted half rice, half salad. Yes, don't worry, you just have a long one. That's all with that crazy. Stamina, energy. 23 seconds on the moment. Can you warm up the eel? Thank you, lady. Sprouts and spicy miso. Barbecue eel. Torched and warmed up one more time. Ram coming out. Barbecue eel. Oh, wow. You know, I never had eel before. No? Nope. Barbecue chicken. This is our best seller. Spicy this is the best seller? Spicy pork belly top. Minced garlic. Korean gochujang sauce. Okay, now that you saw what they do inside the kitchen, I'm gonna go try their ramen. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna order the ramen, spicy pork belly ramen. So we have two, two options, we have the python and spicy miso, which one did you like? Um, spicy miso. Okay, anything, anything else for you? Mm, that's it for now. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So this is Lian and she will introduce Gohan Bistro in Japanese. Ohayo minasan, watashi no namae wa Lian desu. Dozo yurushiku onegai shimasu. Koku wa watashi tachi no restaurant wa Gohan Bistro desu. Onegai o ikimasu yo. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, no, no, no. My, uh, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But that's good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my food is here. In Japanese, when you get food, you say itadakimasu, which means thank you for the food. Itadakimasu. Yeah, it's good, good. See, I learned Japanese. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Oh, it looks so good. This is actually. Uh, Called Naruto. It's a fish cake. Mmm, 
this is so delicious! Ramen is firm. All the ingredients they blend so well that all the flavor burst in your mouth. I ordered the spicy miso soup and I love it. It just have um, a very spicy but not like too spicy that you can't eat it. So I love that. Okay, I'm ready to pay. So it's thirteen dollars and fifty cents. So it's not bad for authentic ramen. Um, yep. If you want to check out the place? It's located in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, Steve, invite our viewers to your restaurant. All right, hey guys. So we have pretty cool pokies. Because nobody else has pokies in this town. You can make it into salads or uh, burritos or rice bowl which is white rice brown rice and we got some ramen we got some bubble teas everything's made from scratch it's really fresh here if it's not fresh i throw them away and if we don't get the fresh fish i fight with the fish vendors to make sure we get fresh fish so uh, come on in and try our food thank okay, you guys thank you all right the restaurant's closed yes Time to go home and relax thank but, you uh, i want to say one thing before we uh, say goodbye, I want to say uh, thank you to our team members. I know uh, it's customers that make the restaurant, but before customers come in, it's the hard work of our team members, especially my senior cooks, Chang Soon, Quincy, and uh, newly I added team members, Vic, Will, they're so, doing such a good job, Thomas, James, and my business partners, Max, always strong, Max, you gotta take some days off, you work too much, and new business partner, June, he's doing a good job too, thank you, thank you so much guys, you guys rock. Awesome, thank you so much, Steve, delicious food here at Gohan Bistro <laughs> All right guys bye Thank you for all your hard work Yes I'm so full <laughs> Bye